Good morning, YouTube. Johnny Boomboxer here, and uh, we are on the first day of uh, on lockdown. Uh, Canada, Edmonton, Alberta. So it's uh, Sunday, uh, 9 a.m. Um, oh boy, uh, I guess I got a, a good few days of training in. Um, hit the whole body super hard because I I knew it was going to be my my last week, of course, and uh, made sure I hit everything extra extra hard. And uh, today is the first day. Uh, that I am going to be training without a gym and getting ripped and jacked uh, without a gym. And so I wanted to make sure I was very well rested up for this new journey here and uh, because it's going to be intense. Um, so I've been basically just eat, sleep, train, eat, sleep, train for 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 the last month and uh, it's just crazy how much sleep I've been getting in and uh, I call it uh, eat sleep and train because that's all you do so you know like uh, 7 o'clock p.m. rolls around and uh, you get in the bed uh, after after a meal uh, you, you know you watch a movie fall asleep wake up at 9 eat another meal, go back to bed, and then and then fast all night, you know, sleep until, you know, it's 9 o'clock in the morning. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get in a, a low-carb meal, and uh, I'm going to get it made. I'm going to put it in a Tupperware container. I'm going to head out in the van. I'm going to, on an empty stomach, I'm going to grab a extra large Tim Hortons coffee with with uh, four cream four sweetener and I'm gonna hit the hiking trail for a couple hours and uh, I'll eat my lunch outside so what I'm making uh, this morning for my low carb meal here is uh, I'm gonna fry up uh, Got some garlic uh, cut up here and some uh, yellow uh, peppers. I'm gonna fry that up uh, with some mushrooms. And I've been working on this uh, big black forest ham that I got. It was it was about this big, and uh, I just been working on this ham. This has been a beautiful ham. It's pre-cooked, you can eat it cold, you can fry it, you can mix it in with your eggs, you can fry it up with, you know, vegetables, like what I'm doing today. So that's going to be a nice, tasty, low-carb meal. And uh, I'm sitting at, you know, 210 right now. So, you know, yeah. And uh, yeah, it's not too shabby. The goal is to get. Of course, I gotta lose you know, a little bit of a little bit of fat there. You know, waist is at about 33 right now. To get it down to uh, 29 at the most, so it'll probably bring me down to you know. 200 pounds I'm guessing and I'll be shredded at 200 pounds um, so I've got a month on lockdown so that's what we're gonna do that's what the videos are gonna be is just getting ripped and jacked during the lockdown that is what it looks like here so we got black forest ham mushrooms yellow peppers garlic sea salt, garlic powder, and onion powder. 
and uh, lots of olive oil and uh, I'm going to have that outside um, during my hike. So we got to get that metabolism going and this is what's going to do it is of course my uh, extra large Tim Hortons coffee and a hike on an empty stomach followed by a low carb meal and I'll catch up with you one thing I, I, I really want to add to, to show you guys is uh, pepper lots and lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of black pepper because pepper black pepper is a natural testosterone booster that's just about done there and look at that that is going to be tasty so tasty being on a low carb meal doesn't have to be eating bland food it doesn't always have to be all that difficult when you make your food nice and tasty oh <laughs> Canada Edmonton Alberta so definitely uh, as I get in the van here and uh, warm it up it's definitely time to plug it in is uh, here in Canada all the vehicles are equipped to be able to be plugged in overnight um, which you should do if you got an older vehicle my van is uh, 20 years old and uh, RBK I call her obviously if you go back into my videos I've lived in this van on and off and uh, all my videos were about training eating, sleeping, and getting jacked while living out of the van. Well, I'm living in my apartment now because the van's not equipped to uh, live in in these uh, temperatures. But, uh, oh, I'm just listening to her here. She's, she's going to be a while to warm up here. But uh, we were actually getting uh, plus 7, plus 8, plus 9 last couple of weeks and it only has dropped down in temperature this last uh, this last couple of days so I figured this is the, the perfect opportunity to quit quit uh, lazing around and uh, get out of the uh, get out of the apartment and uh, get myself out there on uh, you know one of the coldest days and uh, like like I said if you can get out there on a cold day all bundled up and do it then you know you can do it any day so just got to make sure you wear uh, proper uh, insulation. So I got my sweater on and I got an insulated jacket. And I got my Under Armour uh, tights on with some military pants over top. And my hiking boots. And I'm all layered up. And uh, I'm going to get a nice hot coffee in me. And uh, that's going to start me off. And uh, really once you get moving, um, your body warms up and uh, you adjust. So... In these temperatures it's 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 going to get colder too most likely as we go into january it's all about just uh adjusting because i'd be damned if i'm going to be uh stayed locked down in my apartment all by myself <laughs> doing nothing for the next couple months so this this is this is going to start it all off here and it's all about getting jacked and ripped while on lockdown it's going to be like uh Rocky when he when he was fighting the Russian and he had no gym or equipment to train at so he, he improvised It's all about intensity We're gonna get this van warmed up and uh, head over Tim Tim's gotta have the
feels good to just freaking go. Go. <laughs> Timmy's. I tell you, people will line up for their Timmy's, and I don't blame them. Something about Timmy's. Somebody told me that they put uh, nicotine in their coffee to give you that buzz. But I tell you, keep adding it, Timmy's, because I'm 2 30 at the window, baby. 2 30 at the window. That's $2.30, that is, for an extra large with four cream, four sweetener. See what, see what Timmy's does to me? I mean, something going on here. Something going on with the big TH that they're not telling us. But we sure do like it. Yes, ma'am. Uh, okay. Thank you. Great day. You too. <laughs> well, 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 here we are at the park, my old stomping grounds, spent a lot of time here when I was uh, in the van, it's always good to get back to your roots, go back to what you remember made you feel good and relive it do it again don't forget the things that you love yeah. we all do we get stuck in a rut but you, you know you can always go back to the things you love and uh, this is one thing about bodybuilding and uh, getting ripped and staying healthy is regardless of your circumstances there's always a way. One thing with bodybuilding is you do have a lot of control over it. You have a lot of control over uh, the amount of sleep you get, the, what what kind of foods you put in your body, and uh, what kind of exercise you you want to do. So for for any of those people that like to you know have control in their life, uh, bodybuilding is huge. You, you live it, you eat it, you sleep it, you breathe it on a daily basis. And nobody can ever take that away from you. Oh, here we are. Look at this. <laughs> Big difference since sum summertime. Wow. Listen how quiet it is out here. And this is what I will strongly suggest to anybody who's got anxiety or is trying to recover from a sport or recovering between their bodybuilding workouts is to get out here and uh, let the body revive itself, recover. I am uh, finished with my Tim Hortons coffee. I'm on empty stomach. 
and a little secret is when the weather is cold like this, it actually speeds up your metabolism even more because your body is uh, fighting to stay warm. Oh, and this is, it's probably about minus uh, 15 out here today and, and this feels great. Oh, I can already feel my, that edge leaving my body, that anxiety where your muscles, they, they feel all tight around your spine and your shoulder blades. And with hiking, you're going to be able to breathe in all that fresh air and loosen up your body. And uh, yeah, I strongly suggest bodybuilders incorporate hiking into their into their training I mean, look at this all right so I'm back at the van here oh look at the beard <laughs> and uh I decided to come back to the van and get the heat going and eat in the van. Oh, the cold is nice and vigorous. I didn't want to stop moving and uh, have my my lunch outside. So it's been about an hour and a half hike, and I'm back at the van here. Going to enjoy my uh, first low-carb meal that I made for you this morning. And, uh, yeah, I'll get back to you when I hit my next lockdown Get jacked, get ripped, workout. Peace. What is going on? So, ah, got the hike all done there. And uh, it's about an hour and a half. <laughs> I got to defrost a little bit here. And uh, hour and a half on an empty stomach. And I'm going to decide to make my way back to the van and uh, have my um, first uh, low carb meal in the van here. And uh, it's actually still a little bit warm, but that's, yeah, it is pretty, it is still warm. Beautiful. So I went for an hour and a half hike and my food is still warm. So it's very nice. I'm gonna dig into that and I'm gonna get back to you with another video uh, training. I think I'm going to hit some some chests, so it's going to be thousands of push-ups and and bendy bars, and it's all about intensity and and getting jacked and ripped for this next month of lockdown. If you like the video, please like and subscribe, and I'll keep pumping out more till the day I die. Yeah.